hospital staff and the family of victims counting their blessings tonight. Out of the six victims gunned down and treated here at the hospital, all of them are alive tonight. As you mentioned, one person was released from the hospital. It was a woman. We were not able to speak with her, but according to the governor, all of the families, again, are grateful for those who are treating them here. A day after a chain of chaotic events and trauma, hospital officials here to deliver good news. Everyone who came through our doors uh, has their life uh, today, and we're making sure that uh, they enjoy the gift of life. Broward Health Chief Nursing Officer Mark Sprada says six patients came to the hospital. They range in terms of prognosis, but they're being surrounded by loved ones and people who care. I uh, talked to a um, family that um, this hospital provided outstanding surgery, and uh, they feel comfortable that they'll get back to normal. Governor Rick Scott met with the families today. He said all of them had good things to say. Every patient or family member I talked to was very appreciative of the hard work uh, of the employees here at Broward Health. Some, unfortunately, never made it to the hospital. The sheriff confirming there were five killed at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. Although officials haven't released their names, families began telling their stories to news outlets. You know, if you lost somebody, you know, it's just traumatic. I mean, because it's, it's just, it's totally out of context. Among the dead are 57-year-old Michael Ohm of Council Bluffs, Iowa. He was here to go on a cruise with his wife, Carrie. She was shot in the shoulder and is alive today. Olga Waltering, a beloved grandmother from Marietta, Georgia, and Terry Andress of Virginia Beach also died. Andress's daughter told our partners at the Palm Beach Post her parents arrived in Fort Lauderdale for a cruise and says yesterday she lost the greatest person in the world. As far as Andress's wife, she was uninjured. We haven't heard from her since the shooting. However, according to an interview with the hospital CEO, which you'll hear next on Nightly News, the CEO says that much of the patients here are finding out about their deceased loved ones. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Andrew Ruiz, WPTV News Channel 5.